Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time, I hope you like what you see and subscribe. Today's video is going to be on a DIY boat lighting project, so let's get at it. If you've been following the channel, you know that I do all of my fishing during the day. Okay, let's let out a little more line. Oh, there's a fish! But I recently met up with the Musky Boys on the St. Lawrence River where we fished into the night. Ah, beauty. <sighs> Needless to say, it's time for a new strategy, but that's gonna involve some lighting. So here's what I came up with. In order to light up the whole boat, I needed to mount the floodlight fairly high. Thankfully, I had this five foot T post laying around from another DIY canopy project. As you can see, it's an inch and three quarters seat pedestal, and I had an extension welded on up to the T where I'm going to mount the floodlight. I won't bore you with the construction details, but this is what I came up with for around $100 and four hours of effort. It's an industrial three row LED light bar that runs off a 12 or 24 volt system. It's waterproof and approximately 5,800 lumens. The light comes with a harness that includes a switch that I attach with double sided tape and a zip tie. I also put on a GoPro mount and a carabiner to keep the power cord out of the way. I threaded the wire harness through the post for a clean look and the 12 volt accessory plug and socket is made by C-Sense that I highly recommend. I use clamps for my wire harness and I'm going to try the light with the 12 volt system to start. The last point is the tie downs and we put a couple on the back to make sure she was rock solid. Now, let's see how she works. We'll give this a couple minutes, then we'll try the floodlight out. Time to check out the light. Wow, not too bad. <laughs> 